After seeing the benefits of aluminum lock or copper lock shingles, the next question people have is, how much will it cost for my home? If you live near Salt Lake City, we are happy to come out and give you free estimates. For those of you that are further away, we can help you too. Now, this short video will show you what we need to determine your roof area. With a few easy and safe measurements, all done from the ground, we can give you a very close estimate for your home. Here's a model of a home. Of course, it's not the same as yours, but it will serve to illustrate what we need. And when you look at your roof, you'll see two or more different planes, sections, triangles, trapezoids, and you're thinking, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Maybe I should have listened a little more closely in geometry class. Well, don't worry, we can do it much easier than that. All we need are two things, an estimate of the pitch or slope and perimeter dimensions. Now first, the pitch. Keep in mind, this is just an estimate. Stand at a slight distance from your home and look at the roof. Draw a diagram estimating the slope like this. Remember, it doesn't have to be exact. Next, staying safely on the ground, measure from one corner of the roof to the next until you've gone all around the house. Now, if the roof overhangs the wall and on porches, etc., measure out to the end of the roof. And don't worry about getting it to the exact inch. It's kind of like playing horseshoes, really. Your best estimate will be just fine. You may have made additions to your home, like that new dining room, possibly a study, maybe you expanded your kitchen. Well, it's all the same. Just continue around the house, measuring out to the end of the roof. And remember, your best estimate is close enough. Now that you've made your measurements, draw a diagram on a paper. Graph paper helps, but it isn't necessary. Your diagram should look like a top view of your home, as illustrated here. Now, it doesn't need to be to scale, just have the dimensions of each side. That's it. Here's another example of what a roof drawing might look like. Now, once you have your top view diagram with the dimensions and slope estimate, you can fax or email that to us, or you can just phone us and describe your drawing. A photo of your home is helpful, but not necessary. And as always, please call us if you have any questions.